everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. A crucial factor to keep an eye on today will be the third down percentage. Both offenses come in ranked top 10 in that category. It's the Patriots going up against the Jets. With that, let's hand it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. They've got the call of this Week 12 matchup. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the New England Patriots and the New York Jets. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. The first carry now for Doug Martin. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. The evaluation process in today's NFL does not take into account as much bulk as it does speed. And that's what we're seeing with the linebacker position. Those guys that can run, they can play at any spot because they can make plays on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. And here are the starters offensively. And one of the wideouts, Eric Decker. Remember when he came out of school, out of Minnesota, many thought he was nothing more than a number two or three receiver? He's proven everyone wrong. He's a guy who's a high-volume catcher and a terrific player downfield. So certainly not the start they were looking for here as they come up on a third and 14. Out of the gun, Smith. And it's brought in by Eric Decker. It'll be a pickup of 13 on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down, and he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but could And look here, it's an opening drive fake, and the gamble pays off. They get the first. The defense came out with a look that they had prepped for all week to attack. They took advantage, got the first down. And the key words in there, prep for all week. They really studied them, understood their tendencies, knew what they liked to do, and prepared their game plan accordingly. And boy, the payoff was good. Back to the ground. This time it's Martin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 11 on the gain there. And that leads to a New York first down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They run again on first down. Martin, just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And quickly, let's check out the New England defense. It seems like whenever people talk about Chris Long, the number one thing they discuss is his motor and how relentless he is. Let's not forget, he's also a superior athlete. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. Brought in here by Tyler Eifert. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. From the red zone now, Smith. And that's complete to the right side, it's Marshall. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Give him six on the play, and it'll make it second down. On second down, here's Smith. This will be caught at about the five. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Eifert, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Jets take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. Folk now set to boot it after.
after his guys put six on the board. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. carry for LeGarrette Blunt, and he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And we roll now on the offensive starters, and everybody always loves to talk about Gronk. And wouldn't a lot of teams love to redraft right now? This guy went in the second round, yet no matter what, you've got a game plan for him when you're opposing him. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Shift together here from the D-line. They'll run again with Blum. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. A big sea of Jets flying to the football there to make the stop. And that linebacker group today could be very key. As we were preparing for this game, you pointed out to me as we were watching Phil that the linebackers look like an elite unit. I agree with you totally. They move around, fly to the football, and take it away from offenses. Throwing his Brady on third down to the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. It'll be a gain of six, and that'll bring up fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Now stopped him in his tracks. Taken from just outside the 30. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. And New York set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Here's Smith now on second down. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's brought down. Good use of the pass there to pick up the first down against a defensive look that they had specifically prepared for, they told us, coming into this one. Certainly seems like they're holding all the right cards now, doesn't it? Because of their preparation. Went back, watched the tape, studied the tendencies, and they feel like they had them down cold, and they were able to use the pass against them. First down, here's the run with Martin. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. To throw on second down is Smith. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested, and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. So they're behind the chains as the offense. 12 yards needed on third down. Off of play action. Here's Smith. Deep drop. Looking deep downfield. Looking for Decker, and it's intercepted. Picked out by Stephon Gilmore. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. 
should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out in a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And he dumps it off to Blum. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Give him three on the play, and that'll make it third and one. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. Here's Ryan Allen now as he'll kick it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an error in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, we talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practice now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static, one, two, three, this is where the ball goes anymore. Throwing is Smith. That is caught at the seven-yard line. It'll be a three-yard gain, and it'll be second and goal. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? to the air again, Smith. That's complete right around the eight. And he'll be brought down here at the three yard line. Call it a gain of three. And that is gonna set up third and goal. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit, but get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Eifert with touchdown number 15 of the year and second of the game. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. Now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Now Jones. And he's going to get taken down inside the 10 at about the 8-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. First and ten, here's Brady. And he will find his man on the outside. 
And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Four down, four down. Brady to throw on second down. Amendola catching it left side. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make it third down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. On second down, here's Brady. To the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Danny Amendola. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. And that one makes it 14 to 7. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. And New York set to take the field. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't missing. change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll bring up a second down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We'll come back to MetLife Stadium after this short timeout. They'll come out in the pistol. One receiver left, three to the right. Throwing now is Gino to Decker over the middle. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it, because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Now Martin running right, and he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Brandon, that play ended so fast, it's almost as if the quarterback handed it to the runner, and the tackler was there right away for a loss of yardage. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> they're still in search of the first down after that last completion. Throwing on third down, Smith. And Eifert has it. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. 
They go play action here on first down. Rolling to his right. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Back to the air. Smith on second down. And he's going to go out of bounds. He takes this one down shy of the 20. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. On first down, Smith. And incomplete, he dropped it in the end zone. They were looking for Marshall that time, and that'll bring up second down. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. On second and 10, Smith. And that is incomplete, seven seconds remaining. Again, they were targeting Marshall there, and it's third down. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Throwing again is Smith. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. I wouldn't be shocked at all right now if there's a look of surprise on the big fella's face because he had the route that he wanted, running the corner. And usually he's able to use his body and catch the football, but a really nice play by the defenders, able to knock it away. And it's a wobbler, but he does get it to go as it creeps over the bar. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we send you down to Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this You're is a do real, I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Blunt, the lone running back. He'll get the football here. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. And, partner, when you run the ball on third and two, you're telling the whole world you've got nothing but confidence in your offensive line and your runner, and you expect to get it. But they were stuffed on that play. Only got one yard. Great job by the defensive front, the linebackers. Everyone got involved to force a fourth down. Here's Ryan Allen now as he's on to punt for New England. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And the Jets take possession. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, 
Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense. Got yeah. We've got the de we've got the we've got the lead. Defense. Don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. Two Patriots there to bring him down. To throw on second down is Smith. He's going to air one out. The wide open, complete, and all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Their big tight end with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Jets find a way to stretch their lead. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Will Parks, the rookie. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. On first down, it's Smith. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So oh, very close to a turnover there in the end zone. And that's why defenders are often frustrated offensive guys. Actually made the catch, looked good doing it, but couldn't get his feet down in order to finish off the takeaway. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. You know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And that is incomplete. His big tight end, Tyler Eifert, the intended receiver. And it's fourth down. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Folk's kick is good. And that will push this lead up to 20 now. So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Here's Brady, flushed out right. And this is incomplete. The wideout, Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. A gain of 13 and also a first down. And yeah, they're going to speed things up here. From midfield, here's Brady. He's got time in the pocket. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll make it a second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion, or even worse, an interception.
They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Brady to throw on second down. To the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. The former seventh round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a... And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Darren Lee, the rookie from Ohio State, in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. To throw, it's Brady. And he lets go a laser pulled in by Edelman. That one good for 14 yards. And that's going to bring up a third down. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Brady going to try and throw on third down. Throws a quick hitter on the slant. That's complete. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Throughout his career, Tom Brady has made a living with the quick pass, hasn't he? How about that one? A little slant inside. And I think his arm's gotten stronger throughout his career, too. Yeah. And you can just see one of many examples of why he's made more trips to the Super Bowl than any other quarterback. Footwork, intelligence, competitiveness. That's Tom Brady in a nutshell. Can't fight. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Wes Welker, his first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots make some inroads here on that deficit. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. This one taken just inside the 10. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point? The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. It'll go as a gain of 10 there. That's good for a Jets first down. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. The quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They come out with one back and three tight ends. A toss play. This is Martin. And he's got room. And he's brought down after a good game. It's a big play that time by the Jets. 30 yards. You got to feel a little bit for the defense there. They've done a terrific job all day long holding this guy in check. But that might have been the run to break things out for him, maybe turn things around. Now he's going to have some confidence, and maybe they'll get to his normal yardage. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll make it second and short. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. They're a big tight end. His second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. Here's Smith. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. 
Now, Deion Lewis to return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Throwing is Brady on third down. Over the middle, Julian Edelman, it's complete. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic. So anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even added a little extra at the end with a short run. On first down, Brady. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. But I think the Patriots are going to hang on to the football. They do. They get it back. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. 26 yards on the play there. And that'll bring up a third down. And now they're in the hurry up. Here's Brady. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. He'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? And they're going to come up empty here on fourth down. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't no matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Well, I'd say that run's pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, this offensive line has controlled the line of scrimmage, giving them time to throw it, run it, do whatever they wanted. That's why there are points up on the board. And right now, the psyche of the offense, we're in control, and we can do whatever we feel like doing out here on the field. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Play action. It's Smith. And incomplete there. Nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. 
And he'll go down at the 28. He'll get a couple yards on that one. And it'll be fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that widens things out even further here in the fourth. Hey, in this league, you can never have too much. So if you're in range, grab the three whenever you can. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Second down, eight. Double tight, guys, double tight. Hey, Blunt, the lone running back. Now Brady throwing on second down. Amendola catching it left side. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Give him 16 on the pickup, and it'll give the Patriots a first down. Get to the line. They go play action here on first down. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and now it's second down. You ever notice that when Tom Brady does get hit and drop to the ground, there's some guys back to him pretty quickly to check on his health, aren't they? That's <laughs> exactly right. He, for as much as he throws, doesn't take a lot of square shots, but took one there. He's really smart in the pocket, isn't he? Even out of the pocket. He understands where the pressure's coming from. He senses people. You're exactly right. Doesn't take too many direct ones. But that one, that one had to hurt. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. They got to have six here. It's third and goal. They'll go to Bond, try and pound it in. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. Now, this feels like old-school football because this has turned into a good old-fashioned goal line stand. So on offense, what do you do now? Do you decide to run it or throw it if you go for it on fourth down? Now Brady got to have this one. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. Blunt turned away on fourth and goal. And the Jets are going to get the football back. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. They have the big lead here late. They protected their home turf well, didn't they? They certainly did, partner. And just think about how good that feels because every team has a goal when they start the year to win at home. All right, and sometimes you don't win all of them, but they managed to get that done today. Just think the team stays the same, everything's familiar, you feel right going into the game, and they translated that. Now whistles blow, and the Patriots are going to take another timeout. 
And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So second down was a run play. Now let's see what they do on third. And off comes to Martin. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not in a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Jets as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.